Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we're gonna look at the sum product function. Very important function in Google Sheet and Excel. So let's jump into it and see what we can do. So if we have a data set here, which has fruits quantities, unit price, and an amount, and our objective is to get the total of the sum of the product of each of the quantities times the unit price. Do that and I get the sum. I can get my result as so. So you can see that when I do the sum, I get five zeros five. I can use the sum product function to do the same. So let's see how this one works. I'll type sum product like so. Pick the first range, quantity, comma. Pick the second range, unit price. Close your brackets, hit enter, and there you go. You get 505 and 505. So the sum product can be used to multiply values and then add them up. And when the arrays that you give it, it will multiply them up, then add them up. In short, that's what the sum product function does. Let's see the next example. Let's look at this. We want to get the number of times the fruit has quantity more than two. So what we do, we say sum product, come in here, put your equal sign, type sum product, pops up here. So we are saying this count is greater than two. Was your brackets. So there are three instances where a fruit has a count of more, a quantity of more than two. For example, this one is less, this is less. So these three are the ones that have more than two. Next, get the sum of the quantities of any fruit. We want to get the sum of the quantities of any fruit. So we get the sum product. There you go. Then we're going to want to get the sum of the quantities. The quantities are here. Pick this comma on condition that the fruit here is equal to mangoes. So in other words, we want to get the sum of the quantity where the fruit is mango. Close your brackets. There you go. The quantity where it is mango. Mango quantity is three. Come here, change it to oranges. You say quantity is four. We add these two. Change here, go to tomatoes. Quantity is five, which is this. So you can use the sum product functions sum based on a condition. So in our case here, we said, okay, sum all the tomatoes, quantities for tomatoes, sum all the apples or any other fruit. In the next example, we're going to get the sum of oranges, some product of the oranges. Okay, so we do the same. Say so sum product, like so. You want this multiplied by this. However, we add their condition, and our condition is that the fruit equals oranges. Close your brackets. Hit enter, you can see 480 for oranges. When you look for fruits here, these two give us 480. If you want another one, maybe apples, we get 200. You can see this is 200. You want mangoes, you get 60, which is right there. Again, we can, this is a single condition. Our condition here is that the fruit is what here, we can do two conditions. But we say, okay, some product. We want to get um, this product of this times this, comma, what's the condition? Condition is that this fruit here is the same as what we place in this cell. And so when it is and, we're gonna use the multiplication sign 
and the quantity here, okay, is greater than, here we're saying 100, the sum is greater than 100. So this product, enclose it in a multiplication sign. Hit enter, get an error, we we'll close this in brackets, like so. Hit enter, we get oranges 480. So the sum of oranges, this is oranges 120, oranges 360. When you add the two, you get the 480. So if you change this to, change this to tomatoes 125, which is this. And tomatoes is of course greater than, this 125 is greater than 100. You can change it to apples. Get 200, which is, so you can use multiple conditions. It can be all or and. So, thank you for watching. If you have any question or different ways of how you can go about the same problem using the sum product function, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe like the video and see you in the next video.